Hi friends and welcome back to Messy Art Monday. My name's Miss Katie and this week we are going to be experimenting with bubbles. Last week we used balloons to pop paint all over paper and we made a huge mess and it was so much fun. Did you guys have fun? We did. So this week we're going to try bubbles. We're still gonna pop and we're still gonna make a mess but we're gonna do it a little differently. And we are going to make our very own bubble blower using things out of the recycling. So at the end it will look like this. Pretty cool huh? Nothing fancy but it makes a lot of bubbles. So first find yourself a recycling bottle, empty of course, plastic, and any size will do. I just have a little one. But you're going to cut. Watch your fingers. A little cut. And we're going to cut the bottom off, okay? So here we go. There's usually a line to follow, and I like to use that as a guide. So be careful. Watch your fingers. If you're a little bit younger, you might want an adult to help you with this part. But there, so then it's just gonna look like that. Easy peasy. Next, we're going to put our mesh bag over it. Now, I am using one that used to have lemons in it, but you could use one that had onions in it or any kind of mesh bag that you can find. So, it's just plastic mesh bag. So I'm going to measure around like so and we're going to gather the side just so it's tight on the bottom okay now just cut off the extra doesn't have to be perfect take your time we're not in a rush you don't want to cut your fingers off because then you won't be able to get to finish your project. And that's no fun. So make sure you're paying close attention while you're using scissors, okay? Or have an adult help you, all right? Now, we are going to take our mesh, and we're going to tape it. Make sure it's tight on the bottom like that. Okay, and we're going to tape it around the bottom. I have duct tape, because duct tape works for everything. So here we go. All right? All right. I just set it on the ground, on the ground, on the cup, the table here, and just wrap it around, making sure it is tight. Now, make sure it's tight to the bottom or else the bubbles won't blow out. So, make sure. All right, now the fun part. So we've made our bubble blower and now we are going to make a mess. Now remember, do you have your paint clothes on? I have my paint shirt on. Are you outside? Yes, yes. Okay, we're good. Let's get blowing. Now remember, if you got a kit from the library, I put two sets of bubbles in there. Now there's no dye in these, but I also put food coloring in. So we're going to be adding the food coloring to our bubbles, okay? So easy peasy. This one, I chose red and I already put some in there to see what it's like. But Take your lid off and just do a couple drops. And then you shake it up a little bit, but not too much or else the bubbles won't work. All right. Now, you can do a couple things. You can experiment with how this bubble blow, blower works. See, because there's a bubble blower on there. I found this one doesn't work very great. 
more of a splatter, not really a bubble. Yeah, no fun. All right, so if you take that and you pour it into a bowl, like I did here, and we take our homemade bubble blower, now we're gonna have some fun. All right, you ready to get messy? Let's do it. All right, so put it in so it's flat and mix it around. And now you're gonna have the bubbles on the bottom. You see the, kinda see the bubbles there. All right, here we go, let's try it out. <gasps> Take a deep breath and remember, blow out. Don't blow it, breathe in, because then you'll get a mouthful of bubbles. It's food coloring and bubble solution, but it won't taste good. So here we go. Whoa, did you see those bubbles? They were awesome. All right, let's do it again. Here we go. All right, now. I'm taking it over my paper and I'm doing bubbles. We're gonna do it with all different colors, all right? So, I started with red, and then you can do any color you want. So why don't we mix together blue, okay? So, I'm gonna take my blue food coloring in an empty bowl, and I'm gonna take my other bubble solution, and I'm just going to pour it in, just like that. Let's put it on there. All right, and if your house is like my house, you have bubble solution everywhere. So I have backups just in case. But if you didn't, that's why we put it in the kit. All right, so let's try it. I'm gonna put three drops of food coloring. One, two, three. And then we're just gonna swirl it around because that mixes it quite nicely. So you don't gotta get you don't have to get crazy with it. Just swirl it around. All right. Now take your handy dandy bubble blower. Mix it in the mix. Oh, now we have blue. Here we go. One, two, three. <gasps> Hoo -hoo! Pop. Pop. This is super fun. So. One more time. Let's do one more time. <laughs> there we go. So there's my blue and red. It's kind of dripping when I pull it off like that. But you can also make more colors and you can uh, mix the colors together. So if you mix the red and the blue, what do you get? You get purple, right? Yeah, so mix your colors, have lots of fun, and if you have any other bubble apparatuses, then you can use those two different ones. Um, you can try bubble guns, you can try whatever you want that you think would make an awesome art project. So remember, do this outside, because I already have splatters all over the place. And don't do it on a windy day because then the bubbles will just blow away and pop on the neighbor's house and they might not like that. So make sure it's calm outside before you go out and then make beautiful works of art. Now, I'm gonna take this outside and Adelaide and I are going to experiment with all sorts of different bubble wands. So we're gonna see which one works the best, if it's our homemade one or maybe some of our shapes. So we'll see. So I'm gonna pack up and I'm gonna grab Adelaide and I will meet you outside. All right, see you soon. All right, we're all set up outside. Adelaide's gonna blow some bubbles and make bubble art. Whoa, that's super cool. <laughs> oh no, don't breathe it in. Gotta blow out, remember? Whoa, that's a good one. Very cool.
unicorn. That's fine. You can do the unicorn. Go ahead. Is it working? Oh. Megan Blue. It is Megan Blue. That's a lot of bubbles. But they're all floating away. Oh no. Now they're going to go to your face. <laughs> That's okay. All right. That was super fun. And we're going to keep playing with bubbles. Thanks for joining us this week. And next week, we're going to do shaving cream art. And that'll be a lot of fun and a lot of goopy mess. So we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.